I have mentioned on here before that Deacons of Woke United Methodists, they can't sell their agenda based on merit. They are well aware 80, 90% of the country would reject it. For years, they have been opening the border, hoping to gain voting blocks through illegal immigration. Now it's completely backfiring on them. Why would people fleeing from oppression, fleeing from socialist countries, why would they move to America and vote for more socialism and oppression? Woke Logic 101. 50 or 60 years ago, social justice warriors of the time, they knew they wouldn't be able to convince the population to give up their freedom and live through oppression. So they devised a scheme. They began teaching their philosophy in colleges across the country. Colleges and universities, they became a breeding ground for future shit fucks. It's a hell of a lot easier to convince inexperienced, sometimes dumbass 18, 19, 20 year old kids that the religion of woke leads to prosperity than it is to convince experienced, knowledgeable adults. Woke U was born, and for a while, woke U was somewhat effective, but it wasn't enough. Four years wasn't enough to completely indoctrinate the kids. Once these kids graduated from college and entered the real world, they began to realize wokeism is bullshit. They realized their parents they used to argue with over Christmas break weren't as dumb as they thought they were. Leaders of Woke U, they needed another plan. In order for their agenda to be fully implemented, they need lifelong followers. If four years of college is not enough to brainwash people with propaganda, what's the next step? You start indoctrinating young children. You start at the kindergarten level and educate them all the way through high school. By the time they get to college, the foundation's already been laid. Once they get to college, you have well-established SITs, shit fucks in training. At this point, all you gotta do is teach them how to properly organize a riot. Over the last two years, we have seen a rapid increase in woke propaganda being taught in public schools across America. Non-binary teachers showing their kindergartners how to properly take a nap. Gay Gayerson explaining where to find cucumbers in the grocery store. Public schools. They used to wait until the 7th or 8th grade to teach kids about the human reproductive process. Today, they're trying to teach it to fucking infants. The vast majority of parents completely against this bullshit. Now, for some parents, they've had to go through alternative routes to educate their children. Some choose homeschool, others choose to pay for private school. Unfortunately for parents in Nashville, Tennessee, paying for private school won't protect the minds of your children from being infected with the woke fungus. Harpeth Hall is a prestigious all-girls school in Nashville. Keyword, all girls. I want you to remember that. For over 150 years, they have educated young women from 5th to 12th grade. Actress Willa Fitzgerald, Reese Witherspoon, Amy Grant, Alexandra Walsh, all graduates of Harpeth Hall. The school prided itself on preparing young women for college in the real world. Fathers, they can send their daughters to this school knowing that they won't have to worry about boys. Well, they used to be able to do that. Harpeth Hall has been infected with the incurable disease, the D-I-E, diversity, inclusion, and equity. Once an institution's infected with this disease, the only cure is 100% eradication. This week, actually yesterday, Harpeth Hall sent an email to parents, otherwise known as paying customers. You know, the people that fund the fucking school. They sent an email to parents notifying them of changes to the admissions process. They assured parents, we are remaining an all-girls school, don't worry, but we must remain true to our core values of diversity, equity, and inclusion. With this in mind, we proudly announce the inclusion to our school of boys who choose to identify as girls. Um, what? Let me get this straight. So, you're no longer an all-girls school. The school's now co-ed, right? No, no, no. Don't be foolish. Don't be ridiculous. For over 150 years, we have been labeled a nasty word. Exclusive. We are progressing away from that terrible, terrible label. We must be inclusive to all girls. So we are now including future birthing persons who were born the wrong gender and choose to identify as female. 
The school claims to be making this decision because the concept of gender has deepened over time. That is bullshit. First of all, gender is not a concept. It's one of the most simple facts of life. It's not a choice. You're either a boy or a girl. It's that easy. And second, the only group that believes gender has deepened over time is the woke shit fucks. And they don't really believe it themselves. They are using gender to confuse young children so they won't form their own identity and they will follow woke cultists for life. In the letter sent to their paying customers, Harpeth Hall explained that any student who identifies as a girl can apply to their school. They can even apply for scholarships. Over $2 million in scholarships will be given away for school this year. I wonder who will receive that money. I thought the language was interesting here. Any student who identifies as a girl, meaning Young Sheldon doesn't have to actually be a girl to attend Harpeth Hall. He just has to pretend to be a girl. Does he have to dress like a girl? Does he need to call Joy Reed and borrow one of her wigs? What shower does he use after P.E.? Fifth grade Frank, who goes by Francis inside the school, still has a dinky in his pants. I don't give a fuck how he chooses to identify. The appendage doesn't just disappear. Will Frank or Francis be showering next to the real girls? Or will Harpeth Hall be constructing new showers and bathrooms? We now have two bathrooms to choose from. One for girls, one for pretenders. Like I said, Harpeth Hall is making this decision in the name of diversity, equity, and inclusion. Now you may be thinking, what happens if an actual girl decides to identify as a boy? That's a damn good question. Harpeth Hall has the answer. Let's say 13-year-old Amanda. She attends Harpeth Hall. One morning, Amanda wakes up, wants to drop four letters from her name, and just be called man. What happens to Amanda? They kick her ass out of school. Don't take my word for it. Check it out for yourself. If a student chooses to adopt shitfuck pronouns, we see this as the ultimate form of respect. To honor our respect of his transformation to a shitfuck, we will no longer fill his mind with our bullshit propaganda. Going into this, one of my other questions was, what happens if a kid's non-binary? Check the paragraph right above what I highlighted. They have an answer for that too. Sounds to me, if a kid wakes up one day and decides that he doesn't have a gender or he identifies as the vacuum cleaner, he has a place at Harpeth Hall. So just to clear this up, if you're an actual girl, you can attend Harpeth Hall. If you're a boy pretending to be a girl, you can attend Harpeth Hall. If you're a boy or girl who goes by it, it pronouns, you can attend Harpeth Hall. Does that sound like an all-girls school to you? Sounds to me like anyone can attend. Let me ask you this. What happens when 45-year-old Sherman claims to identify as a 13-year-old girl named Sheila? Are they going to allow Sherman to come to school? Can't turn him away. That would be discrimination. This is another example of a group of twisted adults giving far too much power to children. They are basing their admissions policy off the whims of children. Just out of curiosity, I checked the tuition rates at Harpeth Hall. Most private schools, they'll cost you between five, ten thousand dollars a year. Now, this is prohibitively expensive for some families, but upper middle class families, they can afford it. Harpeth Hall, they're a bit different. We are elite. We can't associate with peasants. We must reach a price point to keep the normal people out and only allow future shit fucks. For the small price of $33,000 a year, your child can be brainwashed at Harpeth Hall. $33,000 to completely strip away your child's innocence. I can send a kid to LSU for twelve grand. At least I know they'll have a good time there. These people, the woke shit fucks, they are trying to take over every segment of society. They're forcing their ideology on you. It's getting to the point parents got to monitor their kids 24 hours a day. And even that doesn't guarantee they won't be propagandized. Can't send your kids to public or private school anymore. They'll be infected with the fungus. Can't let your kids watch Disney. They'll be infected. Dad has to turn down the volume on most cable news networks. Hell, dad has to turn down the volume when watching ESPN. Churches, 
have been infected with wokeism, sporting events, theme parks, late night talk shows, documentaries, reality TV. Me and my girlfriend, we were watching this reality TV show called Southern Charm the other night. You know what one of the storylines on the show was? Mythical fucking racism. Some black girl falsely accused this white girl of mythical racism. Now, what was the white girl's violation of the woke commandments? She didn't invite the black girl to a party because the black girl had already accused her of mythical racism and she didn't want to be accused again. This shit is everywhere. You can't escape it. You can't even pay $30,000 a year to protect your kids from the woke shit fucks. Well, let me know what you think. Harp and Hall, an all-girls school, now admitting boys who pretend to be girls. Now, this story's just breaking. The letter was sent to parents, like I said, yesterday. I haven't seen too much backlash just yet. It's going to be interesting to see if they see a significant drop in admissions. We'll keep an eye on it for you here on the channel. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.